Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 29, 2022. If you like support our channel, you are going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So I wasn't on yesterday, and therefore I couldn't make my my video. But yesterday we did see that the, the Nasdaq uh, found support down here, where we have found support. Uh, the last twice we basically we broke town and today we are rallying quite significantly uh, mainly due to the fact that uh, earnings have been uh, much better than ex anticipated even though there's other data out there that is uh, horrible for example gdp data is is terrible at this current stage um, but um, but as you can see um, facebook is up uh, not roughly 18 percent and apple is going to release its earnings and uh, that's also expected to be um, significant for this market so if we continue in this path then we could make basically a double bottom here so that should be significant going forward as this would be very bullish so we have tested it once rallied tested it twice and then we could see something similar to that but there is the 50 moving average here, right above, which is going to move this way, which could offer significant resistance. If we manage to break above that, then we need to basically take out the 200 moving average and also this is double top here. And that is going to be a significant challenge as well. We may see a, also see a rally similar to what we saw right here. We can see that the MACD is turning around, is still in bearish and in negative territory. Stochastic is becoming bullish and the RSI is also bullish. And we were basically at the very bottom of uh, the um, of the RSI. And usually after that, you get a rally. It doesn't mean that we go all the way back to the very top, but we could go back to significant uh, resistant levels uh, so where we find roughly 15.1k which is right here and and if that is the case if we run into resistance there then we may go sideways uh, things change significantly if we break below this level here which is 12.9 then we are looking at a drop lower from here and then we'll continue within uh, this uh, channel so that is to be seen but at this point we are rallying and we basically need to take out this candlestick here, which is at the 13.5 in order to go to the next level, which is 14.2. And then we have the 50 moving average is also in the same place. But after that, it's all the way up towards the 200 moving average. So this may take several weeks. It may also take months in order uh, for this process to uh, to um, to um, to uh, to go out. So let's go and look at the S&P 500. And as you can see, very similar here, we are forming a, a double bottom pattern. If we manage to uh, break out from here and then we'll move significantly higher. The measured move here is roughly 500 points and therefore we may see this market go way beyond uh, 5,000 points if, if this, this, this is the case. case, but still, we have barriers. The first one is here. It's the highest of roughly 4,300 that we have to break. Then the 50 moving average at 3, 4,390, give or take. And then we have the 50 in a 200 moving average here at the 4,500. After that, we have a double top in this area, which is in the range of 4,600. And after that, we go. Um, it is very likely that we'll go back to the very highest and and, and break out of this uh, of this uh, pattern. If you look at the MACD, you can see that the MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish. And we were at the very bottom, so we may at least see this rally up towards the 50 or the 200 moving average before finding significant resistance. If you look at the, the Dow Jones, we also see that we broke down, found the bottom here quite significantly, didn't even test the very bottom, so there's no double bottom here. Uh, our rallying up towards the 50 moving average will, which should offer a significant um, resistance, which is at the 34.1K. After that, the middle of the bullish band, 33.4K, 30, and then the 200 moving average, average at 35K. Uh, we also have a area here, which we have tested several times also in the past, 
This was also previous highs as well. We can see it around 35.2 up towards 35.5. After that, it's basically to the all time highs. If you look at the MACD, it's still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If you look at the European market, this is the DAX, still looks terrible, uh, but we do have a hammer formation here, and usually this is uh, a bullish sign. Doesn't mean that we have to break out of this. Um, of this uh, rally or above the 50 moving average we could see something similar to this get a little bit above the 50 moving average and then uh, drop down it still looks weak and expectations for the european economy still is not really good if we break below the lows here in march and then we're looking at a drop all the way down towards 11.4k and after that towards 10.1k and then to the very bottom here of 8.2k if we break to the upside if we were to go up from here then the 50 moving average will be the first barrier and then we have this area of 14.5k then we have 14.9 and then the 200 moving average which we basically have to break above have a daily candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to uh, go go higher that's a horrible looking candlestick if you look at a macd it is still in bearish territory and it's negative and it is bearish if we look at a MACD, it's stochastic it is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well so let's look at the vix so vix uh, got well significantly overstretched and that's probably one of the reasons why we're dropping this um um this uh, significantly today we're down roughly nine percent we were up give or take um 15 percent on on monday and now we're falling so we may find support down here at the average at, 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 at uh, 26.82 then the middle of the bullish band at 24.92 and then the 200 moving average which should be the bottom here so overall the vix is getting uh, more volatile but we also have seen a range in um, in the last few weeks so that's uh, roughly all the way up here at the uh, 35 34 um, the 34 and to the very bottom here of roughly 21 so within this range we have been uh, been uh, trading at if you look at the big picture then yes it is uh, we have seen much more volatility as uh, um, as there are a lot of uncertainties going forward uh, especially the war in europe in, in europe uh, interest rates uh, hikes um, inflation and so on uh, but at this current stage this looks like a technical pullback as this got way out of the side of the bullish band and therefore we may test the 50 moving average and worst case scenario will drop all the way down to the um, 200 moving average. If that were the case, then we'll see these tech stocks and these indices um, rally significantly more in the next few uh, trading days. If you look at the MACD, it's still bullish, stochastic is bearish and so is the RSI. So last is uh, the 10 year yield. And as you can see, we did pull back um and but we are still doing the same pattern so pulling back towards the 20 exponential moving 20 simple moving average rallying getting very overstretched and overbought as well pulling back towards the 20 and then continuing higher and we've been doing this for a quite some time all the way down here when we we're at 1.8 we are approaching an area of significance this was basically back in 2018, 2019, where we were roughly at the same level that we are now. Breaking above here, and then we'll see this go significantly higher. This is um, not overbought, but it was. Therefore, therefore we had this pullback. Um, so MACD is bearish, the Cassie is bullish, and the RSI is uh, uh, bullish as well for at this point. And not a lot of room to the upside. So. Hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.